Men have stopped approaching women and there's many reasons why. Number one on the list is the fear of rejection. A lot of men have tried to talk to women in their lives and they have just heard no. And a lot of men are tired of this and they've just got to the point where, you know what, I'm not gonna try anymore. These women are not interested, they're not cooperating. And so I'm gonna save myself the headache and the embarrassment by not even trying. In our current society, majority of women do not find the majority of men attractive. In fact, I would say the average woman believes that she's better than the average man these days. And so if we know this to be true, the average man is probably in a bad situation. He's at a severe disadvantage. And we all know if you compare men and women, women will always have more options, even if she's only average at best. So a lot of men have decided, you know what? I'm just gonna accept it for what it is and I'm just gonna live my life and I'm not going to bother disturb these women. But the irony is, is these women don't like it. Now nah, they're, they're going outside, they're going to clubs, they're out and about and men are not approaching them anymore and they're just asking a question, why? Why are they not talking to us? You see, women don't really experience the amount of rejection that men do throughout our lives. So they don't really fathom the effects it has. Women don't really experience rejection to the same gravity that men do. And when they do get a taste of rejection, they don't handle it very well. So they don't understand how it takes its toll on a man after years and years of trying and trying and being told, no, you're not good enough. It makes a man feel like, you know, there's no point doing this anymore. Now, a guy like me who is very extroverted and confident and has had women in his life, I understand that it's a numbers game. And I understand that rejection is a part of this game, but not every man is built the same. And so some guys have just faced a lot of rejection and they, they quit. A lot of women like to call men creepy when they approach. If a man approaches and a woman does not find him attractive, she will be quick to call him creepy. Even if the man is just being polite, he's not doing anything weird with his body language, she will still call him creepy. But let it be another guy who she does find attractive, she will not call him creepy. In fact, they've done dating app experiments where they've had male model uh, profiles and they've talked to women on these dating apps and these men deliberately will say creepy things and these women will accept those advances happily and in fact send the man the phone number and her home address so they can meet up the same day. Seems like a little bit of a double standard or you could say hypocrisy if you ask me. So this whole creepy aspect is really determined by how attractive the man is or if the woman finds the man attractive. A man do not want to be called creepy. It's a very deviant label. You even see examples of this in gyms where women will make these gym videos where they're trying to expose men in the gym for being creepy and perverted. When the man is just glancing, or maybe the man has just said, do you want some help? Oh, he's creepy. No, a lot of men have just decided I'm gonna avoid all of this nonsense and I'm not gonna approach any woman anymore. Another aspect is that a lot of women are just unapproachable. Their whole demeanor just seems to be very mean. I don't know where this idea came from, why so many women think it's cool to have a resting B face. And a lot of these women will say, oh, that's just how my natural face is. But no, it's not. You are deliberately putting that face on because you think that it's cool or the trendy, stylish thing to do, or maybe even think that it looks attractive. No, it just makes you look unapproachable. Men want to approach women who have happy faces, jolly and, and bright. Why would, I want to, uh, why would I want to approach a woman who looks like the sky is about to fall down? Or a woman who looks like she's mean mugging? Especially if you want men to approach you. What we see in our current time is that there's a lot of women who appear to hate men. And we see examples of this everywhere. Now, this could be because of her own anecdotal experiences that she's had with men, which usually stems from her own poor choices in men. But... Nevertheless, they will openly voice their misandry opinions and our society does not hold them accountable at all. And men see these messages. We hear these messages and it tells us that 
a lot of these women really want to be left alone. They do not like us one bit. And so why would we approach them? I know that social media doesn't represent the whole world, but if you keep hearing these messages over and over enough times, it will put you off. Especially if a lot of these women are walking around with a resting B face. In our current time, the average woman thinks she's better than the average man, that she's too good for the average man. Women will look down at the men that they're evenly yoked with. And so a lot of men have just faced so much rejection from women that are even on their same level and just feel like, what's the point? I might as well just live my life on my own and just make the most of it. I ask you lot to do this experiment yourselves. Go and ask loads of women out there to rate themselves out of 10. And what you'll find is a lot of women think that they're 10s. Even if they're average at best, they believe they're 10s. So if they're a 10, then they're probably gonna believe that they're too good looking for the majority of men out there. And I've asked women previously on my podcast shows if the majority of women find the majority of men attractive and they've always said no. So really and truly it puts the majority of men off. You know, your chances or your probability of success with women is so low that it's just not worth even trying. Now, in my opinion, I think that as a man, you should still be a hunter, regardless of the situation, regardless of the probabilities, you should still go for whatever you want. And, and the worst that could happen is she says no. I think it's very important that guys are socially calibrated so that they can read the room effectively and if they get the signs that a woman is not interested and then swiftly make an exit. You don't want to hang around a woman who is obviously not interested and then get labelled as creepy. And also you don't want to be wasting your time with a woman who's obviously not going to cooperate. There's plenty more fish in the sea and as I said earlier it is a numbers game. And the more you interact with women, you understand that, yes, you're going to face a lot of rejection, but you will get some successes down the road. You just got to keep going and keep moving like a shark. But anyway, with that being said, let me know if I missed out any uh, reasons why men have stopped approaching women. Uh, list them in the comments below. Let me know your experiences or your reasoning behind this as well. And... Yeah, make sure you hit the like button. We need at least, the very least, 500 likes under this video. Don't ever forget to do that and leave your like count, please, yeah? Anyway, signing out. You lot take care of yourselves. I'm out.